Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian. And oh my gosh, you have just stepped on a wet sausage cat hairball on the floor. It squished through your toes. Yuck, disgusting. And there's another one on the floor in front of you. I need to give you guys some tips on how to prevent this in your cats. And I'm gonna tell you why cats get hairballs in the first place. Hairballs can form in two places. They can form in your cat's esophagus when not all the hair makes it to the stomach, or they can wad up and form in the stomach itself and not make it to the intestines where they're digested and then they're vomited up. Since hairballs pass through the narrow esophagus on the way out, they usually appear thin and tube-like rather than round. If cats don't vomit up hairballs and they continue to accumulate in the stomach, they can pose a serious health risk of an intestinal blockage that could be deadly to your cat without surgical removal or veterinary assistance. They can also cause stomach irritation, leading to uncomfortable daily vomiting or diarrhea. But most of the time, cats will simply vomit hairballs up. Cats with longer hair coats, such as Maine Coons, Persians, or ragdolls like Stanley here, are prone to getting more hairballs because they're swallowing more hair. And older cats that shed more are also swallowing more hair and are more prone to hairballs. It just makes sense. And one more note is that kittens who aren't yet proficient groomers won't be vomiting up as many hairballs as our older cats. Let's get into the four tips on how to prevent hairballs in your cats. So the first one is the easiest one and I'm doing it right now and that is grooming your cat. This will cut down on how much loose fur they have to ingest when they're grooming themselves on a daily basis. So simply brushing them every day will help cut down on the hairballs. Also, you can get your cat groomed and you can have them shaved down into a cute lion cut, which not everyone prefers, but I think it looks pretty cute on some of the long-coated cats. Number two is purchasing a hairball remedy oral gel for cats which has the main ingredient called laxitone in it, which is a gel that binds to the hairballs and helps them easily go through your pet's intestinal system for them to be eliminated in the stool. So these are sold over the counter. Your veterinarian might have a brand that they like in particular, um, but I'm gonna put a link in my description below to some products that are just like this one that you guys can purchase online. So many of these products are also rich in fish oils and fatty acids. There are many other over-the-counter hairball oral gel brands, and a lot of cat owners simply put a dab of this on their cat's nose and they lick it off. There's a lot of products out there, so always talk to your veterinarian before giving these to your pets. So if you don't have that hairball gel, other things that work just as well are feeding your cats like some sardine oil. You can get them some canned sardines, open it up, and they can drink the juices out of it, and they can even have a sardine themselves if they want. Or you can open up a fish oil capsule and squirt it onto their food. That oily substance can help bind the hairball too to help it pass through their intestinal system. Number three is feeding a hairball controlled diet, which is formulated with higher fiber and more omegas to bind to those hairballs and help them easily pass through the digestive system. You can also feed a sensitive stomach or gastrointestinal diet, which will have more fiber in it. Be aware that some hairball control diets with too much oils may cause your cat to get some diarrhea, and you will need to find the perfect diet for your cat. You can also try adding some wet food to one of their daily meals to keep them hydrated, or a cat water fountain to promote water intake, which helps with overall health and digestion in cats. Number four is avoid dry food diets with a focus on palatability. These diets are usually made with more sugar and salt, which is dehydrating to your cats. This leaves their esophagus dry and their intestines dehydrated, which leaves more room for those hairballs to wad up and get stuck in the intestines, stuck in the stomach and the esophagus, and then vomit it up. So you're gonna want a diet that has more moisture in it, like a wet food diet, or one of those sensitive stomach diets that I mentioned in number three, which will be helpful for preventing hairballs in your cats. 
All right, guys, so if you've tried all of these tips and tricks already, and your cat is still vomiting on a daily basis, whether it be hairballs or just vomiting bile, I strongly suggest you go to your local veterinarian and have them check out your cat. They may need to do some blood work and make sure their kidneys are okay, their liver is okay, and just overall check out your cat because they might be vomiting due to another illness, um, such as kidney disease or an intestinal blockage, inflammatory bowel disease, intestinal lymphoma. I could go on forever. Um, it might not just be hairballs. All right, guys, so you learned a lot today. If this video helped you, please put it in the comments below. And if you guys have any other tips or tricks about preventing hairballs in cats, please put that in the comments below for other cat owners to read. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next week.